Okay, boys and girls, we're back. I got an Alienware AW2721D. So this is an Alienware 1440p 240Hz and Nano IPS panel from LG. It's got a G-Sync Ultimate module in there as well. Yeah, they changed G-Sync Ultimate to HDR600. Yeah, this thing's got like 32 dimming zones. All right, don't come at me with the, uh, oh, doesn't have HDR1000 and it's not, you know, the best. Well, listen, it was $1,100 and no way on this earth was I going to pay $1,100. But I saw a sale. I was eating breakfast and I was watching too much text video or in the other guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name, something, it's his real name, he reviews monitors and stuff, but um, I saw the too much text video first and it was like $828 or something, so then I ordered one and I was like, I mean, you can't hurt to try it and then two days later it went on sale for 728 and I was like no way it was like 724 or something I'll pull up my receipt later and dude 724 for this it's not from Asus or you know Acer or something dude it's Dell it's an Alienware it's got the three years advanced exchange warranty if you have any issues, they'll literally ship you out a replacement before you ship defective, the defective monitor back. That's amazing. Anyway, so for 724, dude, that's pretty good. What year is this? 2021. Yeah, I know. The video is recorded November 7th, 24th, and um, I'm really behind, but hey, catching up fast so you know i paid 500 dollars for a costco deal for an acer xb271hu you saw in the last video or you know with that setup before i got my oled and that was a 1440p g-sync module 165 hertz overclockable from 144 ips panel from auo optronics i believe AUO or AOU, something like that. But long story short, don't buy their Acer 240Hz version of this. That one has burn in. I know a guy. He had this monitor. He got it on sale. He loved it. But then he was like, you know what? I could do better. And he tried. And he returned his Alienware. And he didn't keep it. And uh, he got the Acer and an IPS panel got burning. Yep. And then he got a second one and he had issues again. So, I mean, I'm the kid using the OLED television as a monitor. And I don't have burden, so. And I have a two, three, yeah, almost three year old OLED now with no burden, so. Ooh, that hurts. Anyway, um, yeah, this monitor is not on sale anymore. It's like 800, I think like 90 bucks now. I mean, if there's a sale again, get it. Uh, but like I said, this isn't really fair. I'm recording what you see is day one. And I was on a Discord call with my friend and he just got the same monitor my cousin ordered it my other friend i'd let everybody know man the thing was 728 dollars versus 1100 who cares with the amazon return policy you had till january 31st dude i ordered this like november 17th or something so it's like think of all that no wait i received this on the 24th Look, you have to order it before, so that's a long time. January 31st? No. Today? It's uh, February 9th, and you know, yeah, that's uh, I'm only out of the return policy by 
I think like a few days now. I mean, think about that. That's insane. So, yeah, so basically uh, my software messed up, but I fixed it. Don't worry about it. So I ran through, set up the HDR settings. I got it on the official stand. Uh, most of you guys will run it if you don't want to put it on an arm. I got my little portable monitor below it as well. And I was running HDR Cyberpunk 2077 because it's not out yet in the video, but the dubbing is after and obviously I've played it. And running through Call of Duty, Cold War right now, I think in HDR as well. And I was watching Jujutsu Kaisen, and the colors look great. You can see how it pops. Remember, this is a cell phone camera. Pretty amazing. So, at the end of the video, I actually do put my head up to the monitor because it does have a fan. It is the G Sync Module V2 that does have a fan. But, on God, like literally, the reason why I hated the other monitors with the fans is because they were actually audible. I put my ear up to the back, you can't hear it. Like, remember, I'm the guy who moved the PC to the closet and closed the door and have my wires out to the desk. I can't hear it, really. I had to turn the air conditioner off, had to turn the computer off just to hear it. Like, it's really... You really have to shove your ear, like, you're not gonna hear it. Um, the monitor is great, dude. It's great company, high quality. I mean, it's nothing I can say. If you want to keep it for five years, be my guest. I mean, I'm gonna upgrade in two years. What the monitor companies usually do is you have to wait till the next GPU generation to get the new monitors that you want. And it's like, yeah, we could have done 1080p 360 hertz, but uh, we just happened to release it the same time the new cards came out. So, I know somebody's gonna say, oh, but they were supposed to have the TN ones earlier in 2020, and then they made the only the IPS 360 hertz later. It's fine, dude, it's fine. But, you know, if you look at how it goes, I understand that the 1080p 360 or its IPS panel right now is a first generation product. They'll probably have a more refined 360 hertz coming out later. And they'll claim instead of one millisecond, it's 0.5. Or they'll claim instead of 0.5, it's 0.25, which is marketing lies. But hey, if you want to buy it, be my guest. I'm not going to come here and say, Oh, your computer is fine. You can run games at 60 FPS. That's fine. You shouldn't upgrade. Dude, everybody's at home. We're not traveling. Do whatever you want, man. If you want to play games on a you know better monitor, be my guest. Back when the world is normal, you, you could go outside. You know, maybe you're not going to care. I know I'm not going to care. So... But right now, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, they're just toys. Tech is toys, and it's fun. I mean, yes, you can use it for work and stuff. That's the reason why I was making a big deal in the video. Like, I don't have to have anxiety using my OLED as a monitor. Don't have to do the screensaver stuff. It's really nice, honestly. I didn't expect it to be this good or for me to like it. Um, my little portable monitor is 240 hertz. Um, this thing. Bigger, brighter, 98% DCA IP3 color coverage or gamut. Which one was it? One of those. But yeah, it's a great monitor, dude. If you get it, I hope you like it. If you don't like it, then uh, you're probably one of those Odyssey G7, G9 dudes and you swear by that VA panel. I was gonna get one, but I really. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of monitors that don't have G-Sync modules in them. The variable overdrive drama is too much for me. I was explaining to my friend, that little portable monitor that I have blurred at the bottom, the variable overdrive doesn't work. It doesn't have the G-Sync module. And you have to run overdrive setting 5 for 240 FPS or more, level overdrive 
overdrive level four for um, 200 to 240, uh, that refresh range. And then level three is for 60 to 144. If you can, you can go watch the hardware unboxed video from Tim, I believe. And then he covers what is the correct overdrive setting to use at the certain FPS that you play at. So since it's just a Discord monitor for me, unless I'm like, you know, moving around, but there's COVID, so I'm not really moving around. Um, yeah. It's just a Discord monitor, so I leave it at level three overdrive. But yeah, not a lot of footage left. And this is me with the two monitors, calibrating them, seeing which one has better color coverage, what, you know, is close to the 100% sRGB, 120 nits, and you know, the numbers I'm looking for. That's what it looks like. And that's the last photo, okay? So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I did this all in one take. I think I did a great job. I hope you enjoy, and have a good night, good day, peace.